drawing with fountain pens. Drawing horses from the imagination with fountain pens. No mistakes allowed. Welcome to Afka Art Studio. This is going to be scary. We're going to draw with fountain pens uh, because fountain pens are great pens. There are also really, really nice options in fountain pens. It doesn't have to be a simple fountain pen and that's why I'm showing you a couple of different ones. We're also going straight to the basic with a goose quill pen. I will show you my different fountain pens and then we'll go and make drawings with them. They have different nibs, which is the important part. And the good thing about fountain pens is you can carry them with you in your pocket. You can have the most fantastic inks. There are the most amazing inks around for fountain pens. And because I'll show you a couple of different nibs, they can make wonderful lines and they're really good for outdoor sketching. And as I said in the beginning, you can't make a mistake and that's good. That's good for practice and uh, you also get dirty fingers, which proves that you are a real artist. Let's get started. Let's draw a couple of horses. I will introduce you to my pens and my inks that I'm using today. This is the Sailor Fude de Manan. This is a pen with a Fude nib. I'll show you what a Fude nib is. It's a nib that has a bend to the tip. Do you see that? That makes for really interesting lines, strong lines. This pen is filled with the Yamaguri Iro Shizuku. This is a warm sepia colored ink that I really like for drawing. It is not waterproof. The next pen is the Hongdiang Black Forest Fude pen. This is also a pen with a bent nib. Here you can see the Fude nib. It's even more bent than the Sailor nib. This pen is filled with Japanese ink, platinum carbon ink. It's a very nice ink and this ink will, it will be waterproof. And then we have a wonderful pen, the Noodler's Ahab Flexible Nib. What I like, this is a flexible nib. And that means that just by the pressure of your hand, you'll get thicker and thinner lines. I always like to have this flexibility and lines. It's interesting, it makes for strong lines. So all my pens really have this effect thing going on. This pen is filled with Noodler's ink, Heart of Darkness. Heart of Darkness is another ink that will bond to the cellulose. And then that bottle came with this pen. Uh, this pen is also a Noodler's pen, of course. This is the Charlie. And this is the one pen I have that has a normal nib. This is an eyedropper pen. Can you see that? So basically the whole body, it's, it's sealed with a bit of silicone grease and the whole body is, is filled with ink, which is going to be great for sketching because this pen will not run out easily. And this is also filled with Heart of Darkness. And then last but not least, the original goose feather quill. Now, um, you usually cut the tip of the goose feather because, because you don't want to be drawing and have, have a feather sticking up your nose. It's annoying. And for this pen, I've got my own homemade iron gall ink. It draws and writes a very light gray, and then it turns darker as um, time progresses. So when I just made this ink, it took like really half an hour for the ink to darken, but it's been two years and the ink will darken much quicker. We'll start with the iron gold ink so you can see it get darker. When I just made this ink, it was also, um, it would write very light, very light grey. Now, um, the goose feather pen is actually really nice to, um, to draw with. It really has quite a nice easy flow over the paper. This is Bristol paper, it's very smooth anyway, but this pen will, will draw really nicely over all kinds of paper. And um, just it, <clears throat> whenever I go over a line that's, that's already, that's still wet, it tends to leave a larger blot of ink. That gives it character, right? They, so all the pens I'm going to use have got their own character. Now let's go to the sailor, the Fude de Manon. So if I post the tip, I have a very, very long pen, which is really cool because you can 
hold to this pen like a brush. You can see how this is getting darker. Woohoo! <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Now, the straighter you hold this pen, the thinner the line, and the flatter you hold the pen, the wider the line. And if you turn it the other way around, you can actually draw with a very, very thin very fine line like this. Which is great when you're traveling, because you need only one pen for two different styles of painting really. And this pen always writes whatever you do, it's just it's just perfect. Let's go to the next pen. The Hongdian Chinese pen, Black Forest Fude pen. It's all black. I like black. It's really all black, even the nip is black, which which <laughs> you know didn't need to buy this pen, but actually it's an interesting pen because this pen has an even stronger angle. Let's see what that stronger angle does. I will look at that. Right, this pen tends to skip a little bit. But, oh my god, look at these lines. I'll forgive it. I really will forgive it for that because wow, these lines are good. And this one also can be turned around. It just feels a little bit more scratchy. And it seems to skip a little bit every now and then. But like I said, it makes such nice lines. Wow. All metal pen, by the way. Quite hefty. And if you post the tip, it's got a nice length. We go to the Ahab. Filled with Heart of Darkness. This unscrews. This is the flexible nib. A bit finer overall. And it is flexible but you, you, you really have to press a little bit to, to get those wider lines out of it. So this makes for much finer lines, but it still is a very interesting line that you make. And I, I do take this one sketching a lot. And of course I use it in my studio. I really like this pen. Now we go to the last pen, the Charlie, which I got for free with my bottle of Heart of Darkness. This is a normal nib. Let's see how it draws. Wow. Okay, very nice. New. I haven't really tried this one before yet. Yeah, it, it, wow, I mean, this glides over the paper. Very light, very easy.
and that you know it's a normal knit but it definitely seems to have some flex oh wow should have gotten this pen earlier this is a great drawing pen doesn't skip doesn't mind which way I push it okay the Charlie pen really really nice so here we got all our different pens have you taken fountain pens outside for sketching or do you use them inside have you used fountain pens at all would you like to try one of these fountain pens um, none of them are expensive and mm, I think the inks are reasonable too if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos on horses subscribe ring the bell otherwise you don't get the notifications and more videos over here and let me know in the comments what you think let me know in the comments if you want me to do something else bye bye